This video is hopefully going to give you all of the information you need for the new Exceed event that just launched on Master Duel. We have a custom ban list, we have a couple of deck lists that are probably going to work fine in this event, a couple of non-engine cards that I think are going to be quite useful, as well as going over the information in general. So first of all, Konami has dropped an information release. We're going to look through it together. If you look at the notification tab, we have a lot of new news. You get a lot of gems today if you log in from Twitter campaigns, compensations, because they messed up. But most importantly, we have the Exceed Festival information here. All of the data above here, we already knew about that. Let's read through the important part down here. So for the Exceed Festival only, Exceed Monsters can be used. We already knew that this event has a limit regulation. This was kind of ambiguous, you could say, when they first released that statement. It was weirdly translated. Now we know it is actually a custom ban list. We're going to go through the ban list in just a moment. During the event, you can duel with the same rule set within duel rooms. It's nice. You can test your Exceed decks for the Exceed Festival event outside of the Exceed Festival event. I don't know why you would do it, because you can even earn your medals when you lose, but you can do it. Medals info. Medals are claimed at the end of each duel. You can immediately gain rewards corresponding to the number of medals you earned. Fine. You can earn medals whether you win, draw or lose. Fine. Earn double medals by using your own original decks. There are loaner decks. They are free to use, by the way. You can use them for free, but they're terrible. We're going to take a look at them in a second. You will not earn any medals if you surrender the duel. Fight on to the very end. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Thank you, Konami, for dropping a nice event for us. This is the ban list that they chose to use on top of the regular Master Duel ban list, as well as, obviously, all Synchro, Fusion, Link Monsters being banned. The TLDR is you have to be very innovative with your strategies. They really want you to use Exceed decks moving forward for this event. They don't want you to use any other decks that sort of play around the Exceed mechanic or don't need it at all. Definitely, you need to be innovative. Props for that. Let's go over these cards. First of all, they banned every card that somewhat says restrict exceeds, use exceeds your opponent controls, do crazy stuff with your opponent's exceeds. Every card that says something similar to that, they immediately banned. Let's take a look at this. You can target an exceed monster that has material, detach one from it, and if you do special summon, it could revolt from your deck. So this would effectively just be an instant exceed counter for no reason. So they banned a lot of cards like that. More importantly, and much more importantly, they banned Eldritch the Golden Lord, Inspector Border, Guru, Faker, Pachi, Christia, the Monarchs, True Draco cards. Every archetype that restricts you somewhat from playing the game that doesn't even need to play Exceed Monsters in the first place. So that definitely would have been a problem. So every video you watch saying Eldritch is going to be an amazing deck for this event, screw it, not going to be an amazing deck. Interestingly enough, they also hit other decks. Necros, Chaos Max, Herald of Ultimateness, are the three ritual monsters that are banned, as well as Necros of Kaleidoscope. It really seems as if they want you to use the Exceed mechanic as best as possible, be innovative with that, and I think it's great. It's amazing. They did exactly what the community asked for. Other notable cards are probably Gizmic Orochi, as well as Eater of Millions. That is to prevent a Grand Maju deck from rising. Grand Maju is a card that says it gets 400 attack for each banished card you control. Eater of Millions and Gizmic banish cards super easily and make this card very, very good, making it a deck that also doesn't really need Exceed Summoning. Port of Extravagance banned, Port of Prosperity banned, makes sense. You won't need your extra deck for the most part in this event, otherwise everyone would play these cards. We also have Dragon Buster Destruction Sword banned, also just an annoying floodgate that we don't want to have to deal with. Now, what are the decks that you could still play for this event in order to do really well? In my opinion, Zodiac is still the number one choice as predicted. The banlist only served this deck really well, formidable choice. This decklist is not adjusted to this banlist or to the Exceed Festival in general, but this is more so to give you a general idea of what could be good. In my opinion, Orbital Hydrolander is an amazing standalone card that could give you the edge in the mirror match, because you're going to play against a lot of Zodiac decks, probably. Another deck is the 60 card Paleozoic deck with Grasslux Greener. I think this deck could be very, very good. Trap cards in general in this sort of format are going to be very good because it's slower. Not many decks have an OTK button that they can just access very easily. It's going to be Zeus control for the most part. Zeus being the best Exceed monster in the game pretty much. Send all the cards on the field to the grave. Amazing card. Every deck is going to play it. But the Paleozoic deck can abuse traps that might not be as impactful in the regular format. But in the Exceed Festival format, I think... This deck will grind with every deck very, very well. Cards like Compulse, cards like Dynamiscus are cards that will give you insane advantage, I believe, 
in this format. Of course, we're going to have to see if that is actually how it's going to turn out. But I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty, pretty good. The most interesting thing for me personally is going to be how people are going to innovate this format. It's so interesting. We've never really had something like this in Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, even in the paper game, where pretty much hand traps might not be as good anymore because the game becomes a lot slower with no link monsters in the game, no combos basically being possible, and no decks having real easy OTK buttons, except maybe for the Numeron OTK deck, and maybe Leerlisk is also something I thought about. So if you think about how the format becomes a lot slower, slower cards become better. That means that even very generic spell cards could become incredibly good in this format. I'm talking about as slow as Dark Hole, Raigeki, or Lightning Storm, even if you go first. Because a lot of games are going to look like this. You're going to go first, you're going to put up your board, whatever you want to do with your exceed strategy, your opponent goes second, they somehow break your board with non-engine and then attack with an exceed monster and go for Zeus. Now it's your turn again. How do you out there Zeus? That's basically how it's going to turn out to be, in my opinion, in a lot of matches. So, Raigeki, Dark Hole, Lightning Storm are all cards that deal with that fairly easy. To be fair, if they summon their Zeus in defense, not as much, but if a lot of people are on trap cards and non-engine cards, this could wipe out their back row as well. So you're going to want to think about other cards that also out the Zeus very easily. I'm thinking also about Kaijus maybe, right? Many Exceed decks just end on one big boss monster, Kaijus out that very easily. Pot of Avarice is also a card that is going to be amazing, I think, because you can loop your Zeus, and Zeus, like I said, best card. But the problem is, Zeus is at 1. You can only play 1. Pot of Avarice is going to be amazing, and also, in my opinion, Orbital Hydrolander, like I said, in the Zodiac deck, it's going to be pretty, pretty good. So, you can also recycle your Zodiac monsters in the graveyard to get only monsters with different names in the grave for Orbital Hydrolander. Forbidden Droplet going to be an amazing card as always but especially in my opinion because they are going to want to run into your exceed monsters with their exceed monsters to make zeus once again to be able to activate droplet in the damage step reduce their attack and make them lose their exceed monster amazing and also this is an amazing card going second and torrential tribute stands for any very generic very good trap card that you can play in this event i'm thinking about cards like ice dragon's prison compulsory evacuation device maybe Dynamiscus, cards that remove cards from the field, I think are going to be somewhat what makes this meta very, very good. Maybe even a card like Ghost Ogre that we haven't really seen in the Master Duel format before as much might be pretty good because it at least gets rid of the opponent's Zeus or if they're playing Zodiac, Ghost Ogre is an incredible card versus that deck. So you're going to want to, you know, play around with different non-engine cards that you can put into your deck. And I would love to hear which ones you're going to put in your deck. Leave it in the comments down below. Other than that, there's not too much else to say. I don't want to keep you too long from playing the Exceed event. Get in there, test your decks, do the work, and have fun with it. That's the most important part. Other than that, I will see you in another video very, very soon. Wasn't the most edited video or anything, but that's fine. Lots of love to you all and have fun with the game. I'll see you very, very soon.